In this quick lesson, I'm going to show you how to use, how to calculate reducing balance depreciation. And reducing balance depreciation is calculated by charging a higher portion of depreciation in the earlier years of the asset's life. And it would be used for assets that depreciate more in the earlier years than in the later years. So let's look at an example. If we had equipment that cost $4,000 and it depreciates at 50% each year, how would you calculate that depreciation? Well, let's just hop into Excel and we'll have a quick look. So I've set up a quick table here and we have the opening value, the depreciation and the net book value. And in year zero, so when you purchase the asset, the opening value is 4,000 and the net book value is 4,000. In year one, the opening value is the closing value for the previous year. The depreciation is 50%. So the net book value is the opening value minus the depreciation. So the following year, the opening value is the net book value from the previous year, also known as the carrying value. And again, the depreciation is 50%. So the depreciation rate doesn't change, but the amount actually changes each year. So it is reducing each year. So it's reducing balance. In year three, the opening value will be the closing value. So it's the carrying value. So the carrying value multiplied by 50%. So our net book value is our opening value minus our depreciation, which is our net book value at the end of year three. And this continues, we can fill this formula down and this continues over the years as the assets reduce and reduce in value. And what you can see is the depreciation every year seems to drop because it's reducing balance depreciation. If you like this video, I hope you will give it the thumbs up and I hope you will subscribe to our channel and don't forget to visit our website, My Bookkeeping Courses, for more useful resources.